Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? She had thoughts of players. Arthur Dominguez. Jared Farr. And it's just the fucking two pals. <laughs> it's just the two of us. Bro, we haven't done this in how long? I want to say it's 43 episodes, bro. Maybe 42. Why did you know that? Uh, <laughs> that was so exact. I like how I had that on my... Um, he said it's got to be like 43.2 episodes. Yeah, no, it was about 42. Took a couple breaks. Uh, Yeah, so we haven't done an episode in about a year. With just us two. Us two. This is where it started. This yeah. is, uh, it started actually in this house. Did it? Oh, yeah, it did. This house was when we did our first episode. Up in your bedroom upstairs. Damn. Now we're downstairs and we have dogs with us. Do you, you think see. anyone still goes... Oh, yeah, we have dogs. <laughs> I'm dog sitting. So, oh yeah, Arthur's watching a bunch of dogs. In the Dude, bro, I'm like the resident dog whisperer. Like, I take care of so many dogs and I actually love it. Dude, it is. It's it's honestly, it's a, it's a good time. I have one dog with me and the other one's not with Arthur, but uh, yeah, dog, dude, this him. one's just not much of a people person. It's okay, though. I'm lucky, though, because I love love cuddling. But uh, yeah, dude, this is where we started. Lots yep. of players. Um, and, you know, I don't know if people know, but like, I love some of our old episodes when it was just us. Like, just... The the back and forth shit we were doing. Just... I actually haven't gone back and listened, but I probably should. I did today. I was wondering if like I was wondering if people still listen to our like first episode we ever put out. <laughs> and I wonder if I go back to it, like will I cringe Be at it? Cringe? I'm pretty sure. I think everyone always is cringe when like you go back and you look at something you did. Like think about it. When you're younger, you post something, social media, Facebook, MySpace probably go back like what the fuck was i thinking oh yeah what was going through my mind i have some of those why would i do that right yeah and then you kind of like reflect in the moment you think it's dope like but were we funny in episode <laughs> one or were we just like cringe bro like i, would, I wouldn't remember i was fucked up <laughs> <laughs> but you know the worst part is like i would look at our um plays like our stats and analytics sometimes and our first episode ever would get like more plays even like way down the road mm -hmm. than like other episodes. And I think it's just the fact that it's our first one. Yeah. Like some people go all the way to the beginning. Some people, I, I'm, that's how I work. I work like that. I didn't, definitely don't work Girl? like that. Like well, if I'm going to listen to a podcast, I go to their latest shit. Latest shit? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll do like that or like I like to skip, but I like to actually compare the difference from the first episode to like moving forward. That's just yeah. kind of like how I work. But honestly, hey, we're back. Us two, shit, we're, and the dogs. Damn, I'm getting kind of emo. Hey, I'm I'm feeling good. I feel like. Did you miss me, bro? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> shit, and it's a Sunday. Uh, starting, we're starting the week off hot, bro. Yo, by the way, before we get too deep into shit, uh, <laughs> make sure you rate the show on whatever app you're on. Absolutely. YouTube, Spotify, Apple, whatever the case is, throw a thumbs up or five stars. Yeah, comments. and uh, hey, get a hat. Please purchase a hat. You know. People are purchasing hats left and right. We need uh we need you to wear a hat. And if you don't want to wear, if you don't like hats, buy a hat for somebody. Straight up. Yeah. If you're a girl, you can buy a hat. A lot for of dude. girls saying they don't wear hats. And I'm like, well, fucking put it on anyway. Girls look cute with the dad hats. They actually do. They do. If you're not rocking hats, then you should be. Who look, no, nobody looks bad with a dad hat. Nobody looks it's bad. It's like dads. Like, only dads straight. can't rock dad <laughs> only hats. Only dads aren't supposed to wear dad hats. That's straight, dude. Oh my God. That's true. Isn't that true? I just came up with something. Dads should not be wearing dad hats. You don't look good. Nah, dads can rock dad just, hats. <laughs> but hold up. Now I think about it, do dads really wear dad hats? No, I don't ever see Not as much as us. I don't see a dad. It's everybody <laughs> in the world's wearing a dad hat besides a dad. Yeah. <laughs> the mom's wearing it. The my, kids are wearing it. My dad doesn't really wear dad hats. <laughs> I don't think my dad even has a dad hat. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Lame. Get and, your thoughts of players' hats. And we got trucker hats. Trucker hats are the new wave, yeah, bro. Yeah, they're, they're fucking dope. I got the red one. That shit's clean. Is it? Yeah. It'll go good with this? Yeah. Should bring it down. And then Kyle. <laughs> did you hear that Kyle's mom... Uh, he, she got the red dad hat and she said it looked like a MAGA hat. <laughs> so that so, might be a good thing though. Hey. Because it gets attention. Yeah. But like, it's not a it's not a MAGA yeah, hat. Yeah, that's not what we support. But no. Yeah, we're not we don't do that. But But it gets attention. Yeah. Someone's like, oh, that's a pretty cool hat. That's a Trumper over there. Yeah. But then they get closer yeah, and start like, to oh, players, baby. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. Uh, Let's get into it, baby. I'm fucking ready. It's one of those things. I'm just like, I feel like just I'm just hyped. The fuck should we start with? I don't even know, bro. Ooh, shit. You got hella options today. I got yeah, yeah I, I think I just once I told Arthur, I was like, hey, let's let's run it back. Let's run it back where I'll start it. So uh let's jump into it. Hey, six nine. Six nine. I can't believe that guy's still a thing. Six nine, six nine, Takashi. What's his, his real name? His real name's uh, Danny. Daniel Ramirez or something. Dan <laughs> Dude, it is, it is. he's Mexican, but I I thought he honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I really thought he was half black or like somewhat oh, he mixed. He drops the N-word like he's black. Yeah, yeah. I, Somehow I he got a pass though. Had no yeah, who gave him that? Or maybe he was just saying it so much that people were like, eh, he's just doing his thing. Yeah, so Daniel Hernandez. Uh, 
Dude, got <laughs> fucking Molly Wop. That might not be his real name, by the way. I, no, I think Something you're right. Something like that, though. I swear to God, you're right, though. It's okay. Danny for sure. For sure. He got Molly Wopped in the LA Fitness restroom. <laughs> he did, right? Some guys. My whole thing is okay, like, I don't know. I don't know his record deal, but he can't go to Gold's. <laughs> Bro, does he not have a private gym? Like, isn't he not loaded? Why is he at an LA Fitness? Bro, him and Steve will do it bet like $2 million car raises. Why the hell is he sitting at LA Fitness? Number That's one? how we know it's all a facade. <laughs> is it? He Bro. probably doesn't even, he's not even loaded like that. Dude, but he, I know those cars probably aren't his, but bro, he, yeah, he's at LA Fitness. So I saw the video, um, saw like the video of the, the people who jumped him roll in and you could tell, like, I think somebody was already inside the LA Fitness, like staking out the place. And he was looking through the window waiting for the other guy to come in. Yeah. Once that guy walked in, those two guys went home. I did see that footage. And the, the second guy walks in with like no, um, Nobody stopped him. No. He walked straight He in. literally like, he was the owner of the gym. The girl at the front desk just was like, oh, cool. Someone just walked by. Give a yeah, fuck. He just wasn't going to get a power That girl him. got fired. <laughs> For she, damn sure. She didn't work the next day. And, but the, the weird thing is, is like, they weren't even really trying to kill him. They were just trying to like beat him up. They were trying to beat the shit out of him, bro. Like, they, or they but they were just like the three like average dudes, right? Like it wasn't even like. Yeah, no, you, but you could tell something like, and I also read something that people were like, maybe it's stage, but I'm like, stage? I don't. That, Why no. would he? Who wants to get their fucking ass whooped like that? That's not a good look for him. I mean, if unless he got money out of it, I would not ask to get my ass beat. That Straight dude was up. bleeding. Like yeah. face was just cut up. And then I saw a video. <laughs> There's a fan who saw it all happen, <laughs> and he's recording that shit. Six nine just got beat up. He's like, bro. To be honest with you, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. He's like, no, bro, bro. In funny part, I don't six, think nine. he gives a fuck. <laughs> Bro, the funny thing was 6 9 turned around. His face was just fucked. He was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably all Trey Wade, Trey Wade. He's sh- <laughs> no, he doesn't rep them anymore. Oh, you don't? He's, oh, shit. He locked, them, he locked them guys up. Oh, fuck. He snitched on them. Well, he don't got no boys, bro, because if he would have had some fucking, <laughs> yeah. he would have had some boys with them, he would have been good. Why didn't he have security? That dude rose with security all the time, though. Like, especially because, like, ever since he got out, he bro, knows people are after him. What if he's broke? <sighs> Could be. And that would be his worst nightmare because, like, he can't hide. He got 69 tatted on his forehead. Bro, he got 16 out of all numbers. He'll never be able to hide. Ever. He wouldn't have got, he wouldn't have got fucked up if he was 71. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, him and Steve will do it our best friends, though. Like, so, like, one, I, and Steve obviously has money. We know that. He's successful, all that. And he takes 6ix9ine with him everywhere. Like, all, a lot of his videos, 6 ix is with him. And I don't know, like now I'm starting to think, and they be betting like crazy though on it, like just different things here and there. So I don't know, maybe he's, his time's running out, man. Might need a, might need a new record or something. Bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't even know if he's still very relevant, but he still puts up numbers like on his uh, Instagram posts and shit. People just probably troll, right? I think people just love like checking up on him every now and then. Like, hey, what's he up to? Yeah. Like, that's me. I still go to his profile every now and then. Is he pretty entertaining? He's a funny dude. <laughs> I'm not. He's like, just I, a troll. I just see him in Steve's videos, and yeah, he he is. Pretty he's like funny. a master troll. <laughs> he's just somebody you just want to fuck. He with. He should have just stayed out of like all the gang shit, and he would have been fine. He would have yeah. had a solid career. Or he should have just not gone to work out that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I would have been just fine. oh that too, <laughs> bro. I saw another video too, real quick. Um, a girl was uh working out, and she took a like it was like a TikTok, but she took a video of him. This guy was on the stairmaster going in, like. He was out six, there. 6'9"? 6'9 six, was on the Stairmaster. And somebody's like, bro, this guy got <laughs> fucked up after walking like 400 flights of stairs. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, bro. I was yeah. just trying to get the cardio in, man. Give him a break. <laughs> he had a hoodie on and everything. He just, he just going ham on the Stairmaster, bro. That's lit. Yeah, damn. I guess if you're a celeb, don't go to LA Fitness. No, definitely not. At least lifetime. At least, at least I was about uh, to say that. I mean, come on now. <laughs> or just get some weights. Yo. Got the- <laughs> Buy some weights on Amazon or something. I don't fucking know. Go to your gym, bro. Your, your, <laughs> go to your damn garage. <laughs> bro, okay. So we've we've talked about Blue Chew on here, right? Yes. You've talked about your experience. Well, I'm waiting for that sponsorship. I'm telling you right now. Um, let's just get candid. If you're down. Wait, so what? Yeah? Okay, you don't know what candid means? Like candid? Like, let's just get real. Like uh, I was gonna say, like, yeah, it's when you take those pictures. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure. Right. Candid means you're just being yourself. I like, thought it was just a picture thing, but okay. No. What is the opposite of blue chew? So is something- there anything you've taken or <laughs> consumed that had the opposite effect? <laughs> that doesn't make you horny? <laughs> yes, or bricked up. <laughs> well, it does the opposite. Bro, I think Because I do have an answer. For real. Sorry to my family listening. There's been a couple of times 
when I drank wine and I went it, it fucking did, did the, the opposite. It, 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 I had no stamina. No stamina. No stamina. Went down. You were up, it went down. Yes. Shit. And I think it's because it relaxed my body too much. So I'm talking more like a whiskey D type thing. Yes. And I've yeah. heard of that, but that's never happened to me though. Really? With, with whiskey. But any, wine, any liquor? For some reason, wine just numbs me. You got num- that wine down, bro. Wine, <laughs> wine numbs me, bro. I you got that sh- wine down, bro. <laughs> Bro, oh shit. You be out there whining down him, bro. Oh man. Oh shit, bro. Why, that shit why makes be making me... me horny too, bro? But like I, I mean I've I That's the exp- problem. I haven't it, experienced that with wine. I, it makes you horny. Yeah. It doesn't let me execute. It doesn't it's it's like almost like it just you're at the top of the ro- the roller coaster. Oh, you're ready to go, baby. You're ready to just drop. Yep. But you go actually somebody didn't like the mechanic guy it's didn't like a, do a it's good like job. A, it's a tease. It goes right back down. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, bro. You're at the top, it's like you're bro. on the incline. Oh yeah, and then you just can't even make it over the, the curve. So are we thinking we thinking wine is uh wine might be the opposite of blue chew. Wine might. I think it is for me. I think it's just alcohol because for me it's I've had some nights where uh drink a lot a lot a little little lot. That's a good point actually. And but see it's weird, bro, because there's times where I will I've been trash and I've gone. Yeah. Good amount. That's why I think it Long depends. Time. I think it depends on the alcohol you're drinking. I think wine just does it faster than other types of alcohol. Yeah. It just like I you can just have like a couple glasses. <laughs> but that's it, man. Bro, you're just feeling good. Your body's that too wine be getting you feeling some type of way, bro. Your you body's too relaxed. Feel like damn Christian Gray with that damn wine, bro. <laughs> God damn. Wait, were you trying to do some freaky shit? Shit, bro. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I don't know. What, <laughs> you give me some wine. I don't know what the hell I'm about to be Yo, doing. Oh, you get the wine out of the handcuffs come out too. <laughs> shit. I'm gonna go to the closet and bring out the damn the, the props. <laughs> bro, but yeah, no, I think I think it just alcohol really has a has a toll on on your stamina, on your performance. I do agree. But like I said, it just there's been times where it's like, hey, that shit went down, but there's been times where like, hey, shit, we went we went longer than I thought. Yeah, that's true. So I I, I think it just maybe it just depends on on the on the night. <laughs> I think you're right. Probably depends on the the person you're with. But I can tell you right now, bro, pop pop a blue chew. <laughs> no matter. Yo, if you're going to drink wine, have some chew on you. If you're going to drink anything, <laughs> have a damn chewy with you because I promise you right now. We should not be promoting this shit because it's probably not good for you. Dude, we need to, we still need to look at the- We at haven't the, done the research. We need to look at the facts. Don't take us serious. I'm not going to lie. One of the days I took a blue chew, bro, my heart was- <laughs> <laughs> I just experienced it. My heart. I was like, I can't wait to talk about this on the pod. Maybe this is not a good idea, bro. I was like, I don't know my anxiety or what, but my heart started pounding, bro. I'm like, is this shit even worth the fucking throwing? Like, no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're desperate. Bro. Like, <laughs> you said I was desperate. Well, I just wanted to test it out. I, I mean, think yeah, you should only. Scientific reasons. You, know? you should only take it if you need Once. it. That's like, why it's like, it, you, at Viagra at least was marketed towards like old dudes. Yeah, this is more like it. No old people know about this. Like, I, it's really like just more of, I think it's more of like a- They're trying to reach the kids. A joke of the, the youth. They're trying to reach the Yeah. Kids. I bet you there's probably high school kids. Bro. They sponsor so many podcasts. Thinking about kids, all high school, all that. You know you feel old, right? Like, I, you feel old when I was at Target. Yeah. Doing some shopping. And uh, I see these two kids, bro. Solid middle school. Promise you. Like, yeah. you know when kids are in high school? These were solid, like, eighth grade. For sure. And uh, it was this guy and girl. You could tell they're probably friends or whatever. And, bro, like, man, like, the way these kids were talking, bro, I'm like, dude, I think I'm, like, this old. Or, like, I'm judging, like, the way kids are talking. This yeah. kid was like, I don't even want to say it, but he was like, yeah, man, she's a fucking ugly bitch. Man, uh, Enrique fucked the shit out of her last week. Oh. Like, like oh, I was like, wait, wait, hold the fuck up. Bro, I'm over here just trying to get some OxyClean. And, <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I'm like, bro, I don't even want, I don't even feel comfortable in this aisle anymore. And this girl, was, and then the, the girl was like, her, the friend, she was like, oh yeah, she has sex with like everyone. Like, oh my God, like she lost Damn. her virginity. She lost her virginity like, like um sixth grade. And, and in my head, I'm like, oh no. And like, it, I'm just there, bro. Like, dude, what the fuck? Am bro, I-, I think kids are becoming more savage, like by the year, bro. like by the generation. Yes. And it's, absolutely. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, it's just the way the kids were talking. I'm like, dude, I feel uncomfortable over one. I'm number two. <laughs> Yo, you, we are getting old. Oh, we're getting old, bro. I'm like, and then I was going in my car and I'm like thinking like, 
okay, like, am I, am I like, am I not that cool anymore? Like, <laughs> I, Yo, I was crazy that you brought that up because the same shit happened to me yesterday at Target. I'm at Target. Why does Obviously, that at Target? I went to Target on a Saturday night. Okay. I didn't know that Target's like a hangout spot <laughs> for like high schoolers. Because I'm there, I'm like actually shopping. I'm like, bro, I'm, this is how I know I'm old, getting old. I like going to Target and just browsing. It's I was fun. there for two hours. You don't know what to expect at Target. I was there for two hours, <laughs> just going aisle to aisle. I wasn't even looking for anything specific. And it was amazing. Yeah. But I nope. saw a lot of kids. Uh-huh. And there was like these, these group of like six dudes just like riding bikes, like fucking around playing, bikes? Hide, oh. playing like hide and seek and shit in the store. I'm just like, dude, like kind of whack but like i was that <laughs> i was that judgmental older person like come on get, they were like, just being like shit i'll be the ones to go call the managers so. <laughs> come on look, look, take these kids out of here can and you then, please get them out we're trying to shop here and then there's this group of like young girls that walk by them um, and they were staring at them uh, like they were pieces of meat they were like hell yeah we're trying to go after them babe <laughs> They oh, were giving them shit. the look. I was like, damn. Just full in, they were just fooling and bowling. Those in. girls probably were uncomfortable. <laughs> well, not the girl that was in the, by the OxyClean. She was <laughs> by, by her talking about her friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. No, she was feeling it. Bro. She was like, yeah, she lost her virginity in like sixth grade. I'm like, aren't y'all like fucking 12? <laughs> but then I'm like, bro, I also was 13 when I lost my virginity. So then again, no. like, I, then again, like I guess right, I'm over here judging. I, I'm, I am for sure judging. But then I wasn't like <coughs> yelling about it and shit, bro. Like especially bro, it was crazy. Like going from elementary, like tell me if your experience was the same. Like fifth grade, you're just like an innocent kid. I only got hugs. I only ever hugged a girl. Only hugged a girl. Got to sixth grade, and it's like people talking about sex. <laughs> There's people making out. Bro, I'm hearing all kinds of like stories, and I'm just like fucking terrified <laughs> bro how come there's no like nobody like, i'm gonna tell you right now fifth graders if you're if you're in that going to that uh that summer <laughs> seek homeschool option <laughs> if possible that's what to we need to be ask doing. your parents to not let you go to a public school <laughs> yes, bro yeah. somebody needs to prep fifth graders for that summer going to sixth grade yeah because they have no idea what they're about to expect people I, out here yeah making out having sex all that and i sneaking around some of the girls i talked to in sixth grade were some wild girls back then <laughs> bro. for being like 12 years old yeah shit oh was, yeah that was not okay i'm not saying i what i did with them but yeah. the shit they would tell me yeah i was we like the I, same can't, girls. I can't compete with that. <laughs> i'm not ready for all that bro but see I, I think of how much of a savage i was bro i was in like see i'm already talking shit about these kids bro i was in fucking middle school too at one point and yeah bro i was in like sixth grade, seventh grade, bro, I was sneaking in like restrooms and like doing some just shit that I would never in today's world do. <laughs> yeah. I'll, remember, I'll never forget, bro. It was, the, it was a, I joined choir. I was in the choir class, right? And it was a big choir party. All the girls, guys, this chick I was messing around with, she was in choir too. Well, um, I love that you were in choir, by the way. I only show, I only did it for the girls. And then I found out it was the first all boys choir. <laughs> In fucking 20 years since the school's been open. That's bad luck. Yeah, that's guys just saying, yeah, he didn't want me with girls. So, <laughs> anyways, we're at the party. Everyone's together. Me and the girl decided, hey, let's go have, have some fun. Yeah. Went to the restroom right outside the classroom. Like, who's... They're not, no, there's over 60 people over there. Like, why oh, was... The restroom's wild. I never bro, did that. I, yeah, I was... I was... I was That's some it. dirty shit. That was... I was like, bro, like that horny ass peak of... <laughs> Dude, 40 middle school years? <laughs> I don't think people... Well, I'm sure they do realize, but like... <laughs> Your hormones hit a fucking point in like middle school or like going into high school. Dude, the scenarios we're thinking about in our head are not okay. No, bro. They just were not okay. You know why? It's not because what the girl's telling you like the night before. (laughs) You're ready to risk it all, bro. You don't care. Oh, so you would plan like the bathroom dates and shit? No, we plan. All right. Since you can't come to my house, I can't go to your house. Yeah. It was one of those like. I mean, you could, but we're not going to be have to be alone, right? Like, my yeah. mom would, like, make sure I'm in the living room. And right, right, She'll be right. over there making grilled cheese sandwiches for three hours. I'm like, are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, mom, I'm not Just hungry anymore. On you. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Jesus. I'm okay, mom. I'm not hungry, mother. Go to your room, please. <laughs> please go home. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're out. So, anyways, we're in the restroom, bro. And we're in the stall, bro. We're in the stall. Okay. Because, like, we're, you have no children. We're in the stall, mess around, whatever. Bro, <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> I never forget, she, she, we heard our choir teacher outside the restroom. Looking she for said, you? said, come here. And I'm in the stall. We're in the stall. I'm like, I can't fucking walk out. We're in the girls' restroom. What the fuck you want me to do? She, I was like, and she gets out. She walks out. 
And then next thing you know, bro, next thing you know, I'm shitting myself. Like, no, not necessarily. Oh, I was like, no. Imagine that would have been that way was funny. a turn I was that not expecting. Funny. I should have said that. No, I should have because at this point, I'm like, she would have walked in, bro. My fucking choir teacher walks in the restroom. Jared, you need to get out here now. And that moment, I wanted to shit myself. I said, I'm done. Yeah, I'm so done, bro. She walks this outside, calls my mom, and I'm pretty sure that was the day my mom whooped me with the cutting board. Oh damn! Not, the, cu- not the cutting board in the restroom of a uh, stall. Nothing's off. How did they? How did y'all get caught? Like, bro, so somebody ratted. I think somebody oh. saw me walk in. Yeah, like haters out there, bro. Just, bro, dude. Just, you know what's funny? They were jealous. Dude, you know something like nothing crazy happened i think it was just like an intense makeout like it, yeah, yeah it yeah, wasn't yeah. I, it was nothing. was never not even i wasn't gonna have sex or anywhere bro like <laughs> i was just i just wanted to just grab ass like i, <laughs> I wasn't gonna fucking i'm not gonna bro no no handies no bjs like, I, bro, I just, uh, just wanted to make out like a hardcore make out you know yeah, one of those, yeah and you just felt bad you're like in a restroom like doing some crazy shit yeah yeah it's all stinky that teacher ruined everything that's fine. Probably for the best. Yeah. But you probably shouldn't have been doing yeah, that. Yeah, my mom hated me for sure. <laughs> Bro, but I hear some stories like we have a friend who's a teacher at a middle school. Yeah. She tells me some crazy ass stories about like the students. She's also at not a great middle school, I'm sorry to say. But like <laughs> We're like, yeah, where your boundaries are at. Um, but like the shit she tells me, I'm like, whoa, dude, kids are getting worse, I think. Worse than us. What? Yeah, I don't understand what's like a... hey, they're woke. Is that what it is? No, they're not woke. They're not woke? They're not woke. <laughs> they're fucking... I don't even know what to call it. Stoke? They're scary. <laughs> they're scary. <laughs> Crazy shit. Um, bro, I came across TikTok, right? right? Do you want kids, by the way? I absolutely do. You do? Just with my nephews a couple weeks ago, uh, last week, and um, to right now. I love it. What kind of... Well, like, what timeline are you thinking at, at your age now? <laughs> like, when do you want kids? I was just thinking about that, actually. On my way back. Really? Thinking about, I'm like, well, I had such a great week with my nephews and brother, family. You're like, damn, I want some of those. (laughs) I'm like, man, should I make one of those? (laughs) You got to find the one first. Just make it sound like it's a hot pocket. You just. (laughs) Would you ever like be willing to raise a child like alone? So, I I would prefer not to. Yeah, obviously, I would would not want to do that. I mean, I would. If it's up to me, I would like to be with a girl. Yeah, have kids. Of course, I want to do. I want a family. Of course, I was just having a talk with my mom last night. She's like, Joe, you can't be doing that shit forever. I'm like, I know. <laughs> but I might as well now. <laughs> <laughs> My time's coming to an end eventually. Yeah, for sure. I-, I want kids. I definitely want kids. Okay. I saw a TikTok where someone saw two different TikToks, right? One of them was a couple who said they traveled to 19 different countries in one year and it cost them like around 50 grand, okay. right? Which is a lot of money, obviously. But then they came across another TikTok and it was a, a mom calculating how much she spends in one year raising three kids. And it was around $50,000 too. $50,000. So when you see that comparison, you're like, damn. Are they which one of those scenarios would I rather be doing? worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Travel to 19 countries with your partner <laughs> or raise three kids. And it, it's like, oh shit. It's same amount of money. But wait, I think it depends it? on the timeline, obviously. Mm, but yeah. I think a lot of parents, if I had to guess, would have rather maybe spent a couple more years doing that type of thing. They weren't. They wouldn't rush it. Obviously, nineteen countries is extreme. I would have took like, a couple Plan Bs for sure. I mean, <laughs> come on now, <laughs> the hell? But Damn. it's crazy. Like maybe fifty k. It's Wait. okay to maybe delay the kids until like you know a little later in life. What do? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would have for sure made a, an extended plan like for the kids. Yeah, later. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would have not popped those suckers out. You know, um, that soon. Fifty k though. I'm thinking fifty k. How much? How much uh, for three kids? Obviously, it's different. Yeah, depending yeah. on where you live and whatever, but you know they they probably go to private schools. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> she was a white chick, so it was probably like in Ohio or something. Like <laughs> you know, they do that the extra what's it called the extra curricular activities. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds. What are you talking about? No, bro. You're like you know they're like oh you you part of like any extra yeah yeah curricular act- what's the curricular word? yeah <laughs> help me out dog i'm over here struggling i'm like yeah, curriculum. you said it right I'm the first here, like, time drowning i'm like bro can you say you me? said it right the first oh, time i know but then you like maybe doubt myself <laughs> but i just don't know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> no like all, that lady like you know what i'm saying who spent fifty thousand dollars probably like oh, her I kids see. were doing karate swim Soccer, lessons yeah <laughs> she got the new van 
the new Toyota yeah, Sienna. That's her fault, bro. You know what I'm saying? I bet you I'll find somebody on the south side right now. Man, they can make fucking ten thousand dollars. Nah, but, but realistically, kids are expensive. Yeah, especially nowadays. Especially nowadays, you buy because entertainment for them. The, the money we make, on average, does not equal the cost of living compared to like how it was in a previous generations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That is true because, but you also it's very more like way more popular to know about like our family having like a lot of brothers and sisters, you know, like having more. There was way more parents out there having way more kids in today's world. Like it's. Really, not that common to see somebody have like five, six siblings in today's world. I don't think so. It's not. No. It's really, you're looking at two, three, if that, but. Yeah. It was, it seems like everyone has so many theos and theas, like. Yeah. Parents out there oh, were for just, sure. just, <laughs> just banging, dog. Like, God, Bro, back man. then, they didn't have shit to, no. I mean, they obviously had shit to worry about, but like, it was a little different. You just, had a stable job, then you, you could afford a family. Yeah. Now, that's not the case. It's not at all. You need a stable job and a. You need a, you need a. You you need to be like basically successful if you want to fucking raise a family. Can't be a loser. No average, no average Joes anymore, yeah. bro. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you better not try to go to those nineteen countries. But people are literally having less kids. That's fucking wild. When do you, uh, bro? You know, I was thinking about it too. I'm like, hey, we're twenty six. <laughs> We've been doing this podcast. We're twenty what four, twenty five. We're twenty four years we're old. Almost at the bro, two year mark. We started this podcast. We were tech twenty four years old. We are twenty six now. At the end of this year, we're going to be 27. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You scared Lola. the dog, man. I'm sorry, Lola. I'm just really pissed. Even She's even shook. She, yeah, I know. It's great. We're, bro, we're 27 this year. Yeah. Bro, we're almost 30. Do you not know that? No, it, I do know that's that. That's what it's hitting me. That, that, that low-key sets me into a panic. I know. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck see, is going on? That, see, that's why the other night, I don't know if I was like freaking out either because I'm almost 30 or I took the fucking blue chew. But my heart just started fucking racing. Both. <laughs> You, you were already stressed, but the blue chew made it worse. I'm not, I should be taking this shit right the now. The blue chew elevates more than your dick, bro. I tell you what, elevates your anxiety. <laughs> I, I love how I'm talking like I've taken like, it. Like you're over here, fucking, <laughs> you're a spokesman for blue chew. <laughs> Let me uh, tell you what the do's and don'ts of the blue chew. <laughs> bro, yeah, almost 30 is pretty freaking crazy to me, bro. Because now I think about it, if I want to date somebody, be with them, and I want to marry them eventually... You know you got to give like a two to three year span, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you you want to maybe be married for about a year or so and then have kids. Bro, Bro, that's we another always thing. joked about like, we're not going to get married until we're 30. No, it's looking exactly. Oh, no. Yeah. It's Absolutely. not a joke anymore. <laughs> no one's laughing. I am not going to be married in my 20s. <laughs> that's just a fact. I promise you right now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to have a girlfriend in my 20s anymore. Bro. At this point. What? Are you ready for to like settle down or you don't think you're there yet? <sighs> Or does it just hey, depend? That's a good one. I like that. Does it just depend on the person? He thinks it depends on the person. I think it depends you think on, so? I think, <laughs> I think I honestly, if it's the right person, I want. I, I want to. I want to. I want to boo up. Yeah. Just live that life. I'm ready. I'm already. I'm ready to hang up the cleats. Are you actually? Absolutely. Because think about it, bro. I think the person that I will end up with. Yeah, there's. You got to know a balance. Everything's a balance, right? Yeah. So you got to have your balance. Yeah, you go out, have some fun with friends, groups, like what we do. But then you're also going to have more chill nights and do more things. And there's so much other stuff to do out there than for me to go to fucking Sandbox and Witness every, every, <laughs> every week. I, I love that shit. It's fun. Yeah. But man, I know there's like, I'd rather low-key rather be at home than doing Sunday fun day. You know, like it's just, but you can still do that with your significant other. Just it's, depends what. Is at home, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But I actually disagree with that. I think okay. a woman is not going to change you. I think you have to be you have to be there on your own before you're ready to be there with someone else. That's my opinion. I like that. No, no, that's I kind of kind of agree a little bit. Hold on, let me let me let me, <laughs> let me reevaluate. Let me rethink what the fuck I just said. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I, because I, I think I, I think you're so. right that like if you met the right person, you would be willing to settle down. But once that like honeymoon phase of the relationship is over, mm -hmm. you're probably gonna want to go out more, do your usual thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's just what you that's what you do. Yeah. So See? I feel like you would have to get there on your own. Basically, what I'm saying is, whoever you are at the start of your relationship, <laughs> yeah, 
is going to be who you are throughout your relationship too. Exactly. Generally. Like you can obviously grow, but it should be happening on your own. It shouldn't wait till you're in the relationship. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not going nowhere tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Time to change. Yeah. Time to act 27. Change, man. I'm 27. I'm about to be 27. Like, come on. Yeah, dude. No, I, I, I really, honestly, I'd rather be like, because I see other people in like some really like good relationships and makes me very happy. And I can't wait to do that as well. Like I, I really can, bro. Like I, yeah. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this shit for a long time. Oh my God. I am borderline done. I'm yeah. tapped the fuck out. I can do once a week. Yeah, that's cool. I can if I need to. I'm I'm struggling to do even twice. I don't know how you guys are doing two, three, dude, four. Dude, I don't do the, oh, no, no, no. I don't do the fours anymore. I, you sure? Knock down you at least the two, four three. a little bit ago. <laughs> <laughs> you did the Jeff Davis. That's what we call that. Damn. You, did, you did the four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> you did the four, win. Four, 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 four. <laughs> God damn it. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a two. I'm a two guy. Two, okay, two times two, a week. But yeah. even at that, like this week, I did Friday. Didn't do nothing Saturday and today's Sunday. So I'm one of two. But. Yeah, I'm bro. somewhere in the middle. You know how there's people who are like the haters who are just like, no, you need to stop going out like completely yeah. and like grow up type shit. Yeah. Bro, it's okay to have fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, just because you don't go out doesn't mean you need to be judging people for going out. It's like I, you, I, I agree that you should judge someone if they're extreme, <laughs> if that's all they do. Then we can start to judge them. If that's their whole life, then yeah, judge them. <laughs> but it's okay to find a balance between yeah. like- Taking your life seriously and having fun. Bro, because it's like we're in this life. We live this one life. What are we going to do if we're just sitting at home every day or doing like, yeah. go enjoy take yourself? A hike. Whatever that looks like, enjoy yourself. Yeah, ev- everyone has different fun. There's some people out there who just personally don't like to go out. That is totally fine. Yeah. Find other shit. But there's to do. nothing worse than the people who never partied judging partiers. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, they're like, they're still going out. What the fuck you want me to do? Twinkle my thumbs? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hell am I going to do here? <laughs> like, it's fun to let loose sometimes. Hey, man, go out. You go out. Like, In moderation, yeah. Yeah, like, hey, you Try know. Try going out. Bro, look at you, man. Like, you're a guy who normally stays home, and last two weeks, had a good time. Had a good time. Had a good time. And then, look, this weekend, you pretty much kind of chilled a little bit. This weekend, I literally didn't leave Went the house. to Target. Went to Target, and that was the highlight of my weekend, bro. <laughs> See? You got to balance. <laughs> exactly. Okay to Get fucked sometimes. up at the bar, go to Target. <laughs> it, it just, it, yeah, yeah, do both. <laughs> Target should be your post fucking... I guess the kids these days are just hanging out at Target. It's actually a cool you place. You want to see what the kid, the Gen Zers are up to? Like the dweebs. That's the spot. They did look like dweebs, bro. <laughs> like, did I look like that? I love that word, bro. Something about just the word dweeb. Well, that is a good word. And I actually hilarious. don't know what it means, so maybe I shouldn't say it. I think it. it's like you're like a loser. Like, you're a dweeb. Dweeb. You know what word I like, too? Uh-huh. Doofus. You damn doofus. You doofus. Doofus. All right, what else we got? I actually like this one. You said fake Trump photos uh, of him getting arrested and in jail. Hey, so y'all know we're Trumpers over here on the Thoughts of Players, right? Oh, yeah, we got MAGA hat for sale at Thoughts That's why we got the red ones because we support Thoughts of Players.com, yep. Yeah, fuck them. Anyways, uh, I'm just Trump kidding. 2024, baby. <laughs> we're running the campaign over here. <laughs> this, spot, this podcast is sponsored by fucking <laughs> Donald Trump. Trump for America. <laughs> Bro, those pictures were hilarious. You saw them. Yes, and when I saw them, I thought they were real. I thought I missed like some viral shit yeah. as when I wasn't on social media. Yeah, I get back on. I see it was like pictures of Trump like in the streets getting chased by cops and shit, and it looks real as hell, bro. It looks it looks like definitely like they were after him, and he was like on a run, like yeah, he was on the run for the fucking PD. Like the way he was running, like it was look like he was running. Bro. I don't think Trump can run <laughs> like physically. In my head, I'm like, I saw him. I'm like, bro. They finally got his ass. <laughs> Yo, that's what Holy I was thinking shit, too. Like, and that's the danger. Well, obviously, for people wondering, they're AI generated images. So they're not real, but they look real. Exactly. And that's what AI can do these days. And that's why it's getting to a very scary point because pretty soon you can't really trust a voice recording because any of our voices, any celebrities' voices can be duplicated right Bro, now. And you, we can make them say whatever. I heard there was one. There was one of a Drake, a Bad Bunny. Bro, I, I come across a TikTok. Kylie Jenner. There was like somebody who did a whole like, like three minutes. It was like a TikTok. Yeah. And it was like a conversation. Like, and it was just like. I've been coming across those. Bro. The president ones. Have yes. you seen those? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Trump, Biden, and, and Obama Bro. playing video games. Dude, that one. I've seen Bernie Sanders on one too. That's hilarious. How do they. So it's just like. 
do they get their actual voice and then they just kind of like yeah they get their voice they feed it into like a computer basically the computer yeah. can generate any words based on the voice that was inputted into it that is mad and, wow. and they're starting to do that with photos if there's enough photos of someone the machine can learn what someone's face looks like and put them into any situation such as trump getting arrested <laughs> And it's only getting better. Like it's Whoever getting better. Whoever thought of that was a genius, bro. Like month by month, it's getting better. It's happening way faster than people realize. No shit. And not only that, it's gonna start happening with videos too. I was gonna say, what about movies? Like, imagine you see a video of Trump shooting with someone in the street, and it looks ex- it looks real to the point where you can't distinguish <laughs> you if it's fake or not. Know, That's gonna be scary as hell, bro. But like, they could do that. They do that in movies, though, right? With like some. Yeah, but that involves like a high budget, like yeah production editors who work on that for like months on it bro i was watching um i was at home the other day i was watching the fast and the furious uh the one with paul walker yeah when it was like the number seven that was the one where he actually passed away during filming yeah so he only filmed two weeks of it yeah whole movie he's in it but it's his brother filled in and then they cgi'd his they, face cgi him yeah. and i was even watching at the very end where like they did like the whole farewell but like seeing it i'm like bro like Dude, like it, it looks like on yeah. point. Like, even though his brother looks similar to him, but still like. But that's what's scary is that was a high budget like CGI, which is super expensive, right? Only like a big production could do that. Yeah. Now it's getting to a point where like Roger in his bedroom could do it from his computer, <laughs> oh, from his 2012 MacBook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why it's scary because anyone will be able to fuck with anyone. Yeah. You really could just fuck with somebody. And like, how do you stop it? Damn, bro. Someone puts out like a sex tape of you. Yeah. Oh, bro, it happened with uh like a a bunch of popular Twitch streamers, like girls, all females. They were getting deep faked into porn. What basically means like they their face was being put onto other women's bodies mm-hmm. to make it look like they were in porn. No. And some shot. dude was selling it for like making bank. Do you think people do that with I'm sure they're doing it with nudes? Yeah, it's fucked up. That's the We're not even gonna be able to trust the, the pics. Yeah, I can't. Everything's going to be fake. Well, shit, let me edit my face on someone. <laughs> How do we know what's real in a fake world? That's going to be our biggest struggle. Damn. And it's only getting worse, bro. This is That's a, what I'm saying. It's happening life. fast. It's a scary damn life. <laughs> it's actually, it is getting scary. It is, I can't bro. bring a kid into this world. Uh, why? why what are we talking about? Yeah, that's my excuse. Why? I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, Trump really is in jail right now, though. Wait, what? Yeah, that was real. Those pictures were real. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they got his ass. Donald. Bro, I love this. Jared Topic. I really wish the sugar mamas on IG were real. They've been blowing my shit up too. Pisses me off, bro. Pisses and I get so off. excited every now and then. I'm like, oh, dude, new follower. It's like Linda123764. I see a bunch of fucking underscores. Yeah, I'm just like, what is So this? many numbers I can't count. Bro, and they like is, my stories. It's annoying. Oh, yeah, bro. It's always like I get a little excited when you see a little heart. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like who what, like what, my what, shit? What girl's interested, right? Yeah, yeah, then you yeah. just see a damn some old ass Dorothy, forty six eighty five zero 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 eight, and then you're like, okay, whatever, forget about it. Then you go to your inbox and you see a little number one in the request. Yeah, like oh hell yeah, like who who's trying to hit me up? Yeah, then you open it. Would you like to be my sugar baby? Yeah, I I say yes to all of them, but <laughs> I I'm I literally I'm so scared to get hacked that I just block instantly. I have probably like 40 They can't sh- hack you in messages. I, I don't, I, I never know. You would have to click a link. I don't take any chances. That's smart. <laughs> I was kidding. I don't say yes. Oh, bro, he's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, been, I've been trying so hard. Bro, why can't? My thing is, it is so easy. And I know girls who have sugar daddies. And it's just like, it seems it's so much, it's so much easier for a girl to have a sugar daddy than a guy for us to have sugar mamas. Because I'm yeah. being honest, some of the girls that I know, some do stuff, some don't. Yeah. But still, I got a sugar daddy. I don't know what I got to do for Miss Dorothy, but <laughs> if she's... Dorothy is an Indian dude, bro. I swear to God, he's, he's, he's on seven different Instagram accounts trying his best to scam dudes. You know what I'm saying? Bro, and my thing is, it's like the people who are running those, like they think like, do y'all think we're just going to fall for the same bullshit? Some people do is the worst I'm part. I'm sure. I'm sure. They probably send money and all that. Like, it, I'm sure that happens. Yeah. But why can't it just be easier for... Bro, that's that. Because, bro, I bet you there's some old ladies out there. That's true. Like, some old ladies out there that, uh, they got some money. And I think their husbands are not here anymore. I think women just have less desire than men. Like, older women have less sexual desires. Mm-hmm. And I think for men who get old, 
It's the opposite. I think it stays the same. <laughs> if anything, it increases. So that's why more men have sugar babies and less women do. Yeah. But I just made all of that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you kind of make a point to think about it. Like, dude, it's like you always see like these like older men, whatever, like, like, oh, she's hot or she's like, yeah, you know, you're not going to really see an older lady like, oh, he's a, like, I mean, you might say he's cute or stuff, but they're not like. But they're not like like dude. he's cute like their son's cute you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah, yeah. they don't think he's like he's a, he's adorable like, he's not like a partner you're not trying to smash exactly <laughs> like bro i don't understand i just i would just like a sugar mama i mean yeah that would be cool i would be the best sugar baby what would you do to, for her i think we talked about it before but i think we have talked about we this. need if toes are involved is that you like toes or no no but if she requests that i i do as she please i'm her baby oh wow <laughs> so you'll do anything I don't know. You're like a servant. I don't know about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to cash out, bro. Direct yeah, yeah, deposit yeah. me, girl. I'll hang with some Man, ladies. Bro, some of the money these ladies have. Come on. Why you got to be so stingy? You don't need that. It's true, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll be your pool boy. What do you think? Okay, so say you're loaded, right? Okay. Like, what are you going to do with all your money when you when you die? Think about that all the time, especially working in a bank these days. I kind of see, like, amount of monies in people's accounts. I'm like, what the hell? It, it's really, honestly... Motivating, so it's either like borderline depressing because you're like, God damn, this guy's 24 and he, he yeah. has fucking two million dollars in his account. <laughs> Wait, you see people's like, bro, I see account. Are you gonna get fired for this? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, bro, there's people in this world that have money, and uh, but the people who are older, I think, like, what is um, I'm like, what are they gonna do with that? I, I really do, I wonder that, but then. You probably, they got wills and they got something yeah. like that. They got, yeah. yeah. It's passed down. Kids that have not even been in their life probably are in that will. That but then, but like, but like if I was a billionaire, I don't know if I'd want to give my children billions. Like any, I've never known a billionaire's child that has went on to be successful themselves. Bill Gates kids? <laughs> Nobody knows them. Oh, his name's not Ronald? No. Ronald Gates? Could be. <laughs> but nobody knows him because he ain't doing anything okay. significant. Well, Trump, you have Trump's to let kids. people make their own way. Yeah, yeah. Trump, Trump's kids. <laughs> They're privileged. Dweebs. <laughs> <laughs> privileged motherfuckers. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like When, true, when you true. have too much, too easily, yeah. you're never going to work for anything on your own or make something else of yourself. That's Obviously, true. there's probably some. So if you were a billionaire, what would you want to do with your money? I think I would donate it. Just give it all away. Not all. I'd give, I'd <laughs> save like a milli. A little milli? Like, I'd give my, if I was a billionaire, yeah. give them one million. Just, it's a solid amount. You'll never, probably never go broke unless you're stupid. Bro. And it's like, you have a good foundation to isn't build it, something of your own. Isn't it like crazy how one million dollars, somebody wakes up and they have one million dollars in their account. They could be in the negatives, they could be whatever, but if you have one million dollars in your account and you work just a, a somewhat decent job for the rest of your life, you know you're literally set. If you think yeah. about it, you really like it. Depends you how just, you want to live. You, be, exactly, like you can control you. You have all the control. Yeah, yeah. you can get a million dollars in your account. You go buy a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a damn bad, badass house. And then you're but, broke. You're broke. But imagine if we all just got a million dollars the next day, and we continue to live our lives the way we live. Yeah. How much? Yeah, you'd be fine. Life, you'd be fine. I wish they 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 threw out a million like a stimulus check to everyone. Like, bro, like think about it. Like, how much life would be better if we just all had we continue to live our life the same? Everything's well, the here's same. the thing: AI is taking our jobs pretty soon, so we're gonna have to figure some shit out. Because what the fuck are we gonna do when we can't get jobs? Straight up, dude, I'm scared of that. That's my biggest fear in life right now. I could imagine AI that. is coming for all of our jobs, man. They're doing, bro. They got ro- They got grocery worker robots. Designers aren't gonna have a job pretty soon. I've seen the shit that AI generates. For real, like they're better artists than any human. That's that's very terrifying. It's terrifying. It's very terrifying. Better writers than us. Better editors than us. Better everything than us. Pretty soon, so. We're just like, we're going down like a shithole. Like we're we need to, how like how are we gonna live? Like, what happens when we can't have a job? I just want to make it to thirty, bro. <laughs> that's all I care about. All I ask is 50. <laughs> if I can live 50 years, it's, I'm content. Yeah, yeah. That's enough time just to... That's enough time to just ha- live a decent life. Get married, get divorced, dude. <laughs> and then the world ends, bro. Well, we, that's all she wrote. 
No, I mean, it's weird because like, I'm sure there's been a lot of times in the past when people thought the world was ending. Bro, wasn't there a But this is the first time we've had technology. 2010 yet. BC or what was that shit? 2000 BC? Remember mm-hmm. that movie? I never 2000, saw it. 2000 BC? <laughs> Probably. As much as I'm saying it, it's like you're not ringing. It's no, not ringing. I've never seen it. <laughs> Something BC. Yeah. The world was supposed to end like 2004, 2010, 2000, like mm-hmm. all these years. It's supposed to like, end. Yeah. yeah. We're still here. It's true. No, it's true. Are we happy? Probably not, but. No. <laughs> and shit's getting worse. <laughs> it's all depressed, right? Well, we, y'all better buy some fucking hats. <laughs> Fucking AI is going to start selling thoughts and players hats. And we're not going to be able to stop them. AI is going to take our damn bank accounts. Y'all need to start buying. <laughs> Better yet, give us cash. Oh, Please, come on, dude, man. We need some money. It's genuinely scary. It's starting to get a little scary out here. Yesterday, I called you and you were just chilling on a Saturday night. Call me? Yeah, what time did you call me? It's a good question. Probably like, probably like nine. Eight. You called me last night. I just called you, you to sure? schedule this. No, I think you did this. You did that Friday. Bro, I don't know. I don't even know what today is. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, that's oh, maybe we did talk yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, damn. Maybe. I'm- but you, you were, you had dropped your mom off. Yeah. For a night out. Did something a little different. Um. So instead of me going out, I took my mom out. Uh, dropping my mom off. She was with uh, her friends and coworkers. They had like a, a work function thing, and that was from like six to 11 and then after she went to the thompson hotel rooftop bar damn i'm like man mom i'm I'm, I'm just picking you dropping you off shout you out up? to your mom yeah so you know um hey that's good proof though you can have fun whenever she's 50 years old at any 51. age i think she's 52 i think it was around um but uh mom dropped the mom off and she pregame at the blue box before so they had a pregame before the work party then they go to the work party and then they go to the thompson and the thing is, Chief's out of town, so she, you know it wasn't best for her to take an Uber by herself, especially yeah, when yeah, so yeah. far. So I was like, let me just sacrifice a night out. I don't oh, really I love get, that. I don't got to go out. You know, it's fine. Yeah. Seems like everybody I knew was downtown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I dropped off. So then, let alone, I'm like, bro, honestly, I'm not, I'm not drinking anything. I'm going to be driving her. So I can go wherever my friends are at. But bro, I think I realized how much I hate driving, number one. Driving downtown, number two. Being sober in downtown, number three, yeah. is not a good combination. Terrible. Driving down there is, I, I literally was sober. And just to just move around, just to park and stall time waiting for my mom was just madness. Yeah. It was terrible. Driving downtown sucks. It is. It's so bad. Like, I, it is chaotic. It's a little scary. It's kind of scary. All the bro, runways, bro. There's a lot. A lot Sometimes of, I don't even know if I'm turning, I like, legally. I can't see shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, bro, it is so chaotic. So... I'm waiting for her, waiting for her. And then she told me 11.30 and then that turned to 12. I'm in the parking oh, lot. She was having a good time. Turned to 12.30. Oh, wow. 1 a.m. Yeah. It was already time for bed. Like, yeah. come on, mom. And I'm <laughs> over here, bro. I'm sitting in the car. Like, I felt like it really, the roads like switch, bro. I'm there like time's ticking. My phone's dying. I forgot my charger. Yeah. So my phone started off at 25 30, or it was like 40, 20, 15. And I'm like, mom, I'm, I need, are, are you ready? Like, I, I keep texting her. Are you ready? <laughs> it's like, you're the parent. Like, I'm the parent. Like, it's time to go now. That's like, cool, though. It gave you a little taste of what being a parent dude, is like. And when I dropped off, it's funny, I took a video and everyone was responding, laughing, is uh, she was like, Wait, where's it at? I'm like, yeah, it's right there. She's like, okay, bye. And she slams the fucking door. <laughs> doesn't even say, like, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Give me some of praise that I, I, you know, I sacrificed my night to, yeah. for you to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> like she just slams the fucking door and just goes with her dad. I'm like, well, thank you. I love that. That was terrible. So then, like, picked her up. Um, and she, from one to ten, I think she was probably about an eight, nine. She was fine. She wasn't too trash. Yeah, she was drunk. But took we went home and and I, I drove us back to my parents' house, which is out in the middle of nowhere. So we go back there and dude, like, I love being back home. Something about like just being back home feels good. Like yeah. I don't know. It's like home bro everything's good when you go back home yeah so it felt good to be be just when you walk in you see a, you actually open up a fridge it's and just like comforting food in there like, <laughs> <laughs> you open up the pantry you're like wow yeah like, yeah yeah this is amazing like what could i take back with me like have you started cooking since you've like been on your own no i mean i guess you're not on your own own but yeah like, yeah kind of have your own place. yeah no i have not um actually so 
funny thing is, slept there overnight, woke up in the morning, me and my mom, my mom came with me. I drove back to my apartment because she left her car there, right? Mm-hmm. Um, from the, the day before. And um, we literally stopped at H-E-B, picked up food. My mom came with me to go. Maybe this is why I'm single. Went inside, <laughs> went inside my apartment, walked up with the groceries, and starts meal prepping for me. I my, love that. My food. I, I love you, mother. I know you listen to every episode. You're amazing. Is she getting mad for some of the shit you've been talking about? Oh, she very questions a lot of the shit yeah, that I say. Yeah, yeah. She gets mad when I cuss. I'm sorry about, about the cursing. And I'm sorry about the blue shoes. But <laughs> listen, listen. She made my, help me made my food meal prep. I'm just, I'm a mama's boy. Yeah. Maybe like, I'm just, I don't know, bro. Like, it's just, it felt good. It felt nice. Yeah. I'm like, mom, she's like, Jerry, you better start paying attention because you need to do it on your own. What, I'm not always going to be here. I said, I know, but you're here right now. So can you please- <laughs> Let's cross that bridge when we get we'll to it, We'll worry about that later. <laughs> right now, make me some chicken, please. <laughs> it's not as good as when uh, I make it, bro. Nothing's ever as good as when you actually do it. I'm like, mom, you can show me all as much as you want. Yeah. I'm not going to make this damn chicken as good as you're making it. Very true. Bro, part of me feels like I never enjoy cooking. I just don't think it's like my thing. Bro. But then again, I think I, I, I need to just get better at it. But I, what, I th- what I think is even if I get better at it, doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy it. I think yeah. that's my problem. I don't think I'm ever going to enjoy it. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Absolutely 100%. I was watching TikTok videos and I see like everyone's like, oh, like look at, come with me on my journey to make this, right? Like, yeah. And I think I just, I'm just lazy. It's like, yeah. you look at like, bro, they get, th- the steps they go through, the ingredients they have, the time they have. I'm like, bro, you just spent two hours cooking some chicken fried steak. Just, I can go pick that up right now. It doesn't look fun to me. It just looks like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed the people who love cooking hate cleaning? <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no balance there. Don't do one if you can't do the other. Bro, it just looks like a mess. Time consumed. I'm like, bro, you get home, you still got a shower and you two hours already gone and then you still want to watch your show. Like, yeah. Cooking just seems... I think we just all need chefs. Yeah. That's what we need. I think restaurants will always be okay. <laughs> nobody's just, nobody's going to ever stop going to restaurants. As long as you go, but just don't tip. Tipping is a fucking problem. Oh, that's <laughs> I love that you brought that up. I went to a, 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 a kind of expensive Mexican restaurant okay. with my family today. Yeah, yeah. My dad paid the bill. Shout out to him. <laughs> Bro, they um, included the gratuity on their own and my dad didn't notice. So he was about to tip. Oh. He was about to tip on top of the tip. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I was the one who noticed. It. I said, "Oh, they already included the gratuity, which was like forty something dollars, mm-hmm. right?" And then he was about to give them like another forty or something on top of that. Yeah. They're, that server was about to make like a hundred dollars on, on our table, which was like for thirty minutes. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He did something. <laughs> just, just, I'm not saying. No, we just hate that. We're totally joking. I'm Are not you? saying yeah. that he doesn't deserve money or yeah, that absolutely. servers don't deserve. Money. I'm saying it's getting kind of ridiculous. The cost of food is going up. Yeah. And have you noticed that the tipping amount used to be like 15%? Yeah. Now the default is 20. And it's like 20, 25. Well, or I always 30. thought it was 20. You know, it was 15 for you? Bro. <laughs> it used to be 15. For real? It would be like 15, 18, and then 20. I always thought it was 20. Now it's getting higher. So not only is our not only is the meal getting more expensive, yeah. but the tip is getting higher. Damn. At some point, we gotta point at the employers and be like, yo, so what the fuck are you paying for? Dude. You're paying your servers two dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> make that make sense I, I'm uh, this girl friend of friends friend of a friend uh, she was talking she's from lives, she's from Washington mm-hmm. she was living in Washington she was going to college out there and um, she was saying she worked at a coffee shop yeah not a Batista uh, a barista she was a barista yeah she told me she what the hell's a Batista oh he's a wrestler I always know I always want to call it a barista okay, Batista's okay. He said, what's up, Batista? <laughs> You're not culture, bro. I just thought you were saying that. You're not a Batista, but what's up? <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, barista, bro, she made $100,000 fucking dollars as a barista. She, right now, she works in a corporate job. She's literally only doing this right now to just save up more money. What so she kind open, of coffee shop so she, <laughs> did she work at? Dude, is That it, ain't a Starbucks. Bro, it's, I guess coffee's, coffee's popular in Washington. Fucking fine dining. Think about it, bro. Washington, like, it just sounds like coffee goes with Washington, like. Damn. Bro, wa- she went to Washington State University. So wherever the city that is, we need to hit up the coffee shops and we might, we might have to relocate. Bro. 
bro, she made it. Her mom was helping her with her taxes. She was so like, you know, you made tips. Is that what you're saying? Just every like, I guess they get paid pie in a couple two three. Because I'm hour. wondering how much of that came from like her salary. Well, some coffee workers, I think they get like six seven bucks an hour. No, I, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea. So I'm pretty sure a lot of it was. Tips. But she's definitely not making a hundred grand, dude, from her made, salary. No, 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 no. It, it was everything combined, like tips, hourly. Because it wasn't, you know. But, I'm just wondering how much of the employer is paying because they, maybe they're just paying a good amount, which is which, which is good. That's what we need. Dude, no, no, I'm pretty sure it was a lot. It was like tips. That's insane, bro. But like her mom was doing the taxes and was like, you know, you made more money than I did this year. And this girl's like a, taking a college job. Like, yeah, she made a hundred thousand dollars, way more than what she's actually making right now. Oh, I would easily do that. I, I, I want to go to watch. I kind of want to be a barista anyway. <laughs> she looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> bro, y'all might catch us in Washington. Dude, straight Dude, up. I was like, a, but it's I also she, more expensive to live there too. I mean, if I got a hundred thousand dollars. Shit. Yeah. We'll get a one we'll get a one bedroom with get, a, bunk. Get, get a loft. <laughs> we'll get a studio with bunk pits. <laughs> I don't care, bro. We'll have enough room to set up these damn mics. <laughs> I'm fucking down. <laughs> oh, we need just a couch. Like it doesn't even have to be a good uh, one either. Not at all. I'll take a freaking futon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, we gotta do something to stop tipping culture. <laughs> bro, I think that should be our thing. We should champion that movement. <laughs> Stop tipping. And we'll just be known for bro, that. Bro, every, every server, bro, who's listening to us is going to be like... Oh, but know. that's the problem, bro. Be, hey, no, don't be not, mad at us. We're not We're not mad. We're not uh, fighting to, uh, for them to stop tipping y'all. We're fighting for them to pay y'all more. Yes. That's what, it is. that's what it is. We're fighting your employer. So what? now I'm thinking, our restaurants, mm, would they make more money? I mean, they, they make more money, obviously, because they don't have anybody on salary. Mm-hmm. So that's why, like, they get a percentage of that tip, obviously. Yeah. So what? Wait, it be? no, they don't take a percentage of the tip. At they least don't? I hope not. They shouldn't. They don't. So they just okay. So they get all the food. <laughs> yeah. They get all the transactions from the food. They get the food, drinks, food, all that. So whatever they're you're paying at a restaurant, they restaurant takes a hundred percent of that, and then the tip is the what tip the guest wants. Is do. what the server gets. <laughs> and then maybe like. Two bucks an hour, yeah, or, yeah. depending on yeah, how much yeah. they it's pay. Real, a low money. hourly amount. So restaurants really should have salary workers on salary. Besi- they need to besides do besides the management, like, they should do something. <laughs> it's not tip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with tipping. I think it's just weird how it's extreme it's getting. It keeps getting higher. I think what's pretty weird, soon we're gonna be paying 50 percent. I think tip. what's weird is the whole uh the restaurant fee. You remember that one time we went to the that's ridiculous. What was it? Uh, it was like a, it was a, a kitchen a, kitchen fee. Or it was something? a chef fee. It said, "God damn, chefs are making money already." He's so why are you not paying your chefs, bro? <laughs> why do I? Why are they taking three percent off my meal, dude, for the chef fee? But honestly, though, I think we're we're just so like spoiled because in Miami, that's the first one to Miami. They're saying, bro, they the fees that you got to pay in Miami to just eat something. Yeah, like a a, a fifteen dollar meal here probably probably close to over thirty bucks over there. Because of all the fees, taxes, there's way more shit that's cost just, of living is just, just higher normal. There too. Yeah. yeah, like I'm like, damn, dude. Yeah, maybe we're just. I'm telling you, we're fucked. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's, everything's getting worse. <laughs> Buy a hat now. <laughs> we're gonna. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some hats that say, "Quit tipping, stop tipping culture shirts," and we're gonna start a fucking movement, bro. Dots and players in the corner. <laughs> we're gonna put our stamp on we're it. We're gonna stamp the damn envelope, and we're gonna. Advertise it. I'm ready, bro. I'm I'm ready. That's actually a good movement. Like I could get behind that. I'm down. That's fire. Oh, Watch this have no nobody at the rallies. <laughs> <laughs> people like, are like, what the fuck? Just with two signs, two picket signs, two fucking. It'll watches. be all old people <laughs> because they're the ones who would like end up tipping the most. Yeah, you know the old. <laughs> all of the young people, they're still like servers. Bro, and shit. let's go to Luby's right now. <laughs> we'll coalesce the, the the grannies. We need. We'll, we'll get a party train. All Where right, we we're go? over an hour. We're so over we, an hour. We have any more? Any more left? Anything interesting? Or not? I mean, yeah. you you've got a couple more. I don't know if we should talk about the Jonathan Majors shit. No, you want to wait? We can wait. Just because time. we don't really know what happened. Yeah, well, and I heard about- that she rescinded her uh, thing. Okay. Well, what it, oh, you wait. What's that? Here? As soon as I said that word, I was like, uh, I was know. like, wait, well, you said a sandwich. Okay, well, so Jonathan Majors, he's in Creed 3. He's obviously getting very famous. Mm-hmm. He seems like a pretty cool dude. Um, something came out yesterday that he 
It was like an assault charge. Some yeah. some lady, it was, apparently uh, his girlfriend or something. Yeah, strangle, strangle. Yeah, strangling her assault. But I heard. But then I read something today that she took it back. Oh, so I don't know. So maybe let's wait because we're recording another pod later this week. So we yeah, can let's talk about wait it. on that. Hey, by the way, yeah, we're gonna do a midnight pod this week. Oh, we're doing a it's yeah. Be, we got an exciting pod bro, next week. Kind of kind of crazy. We're doing. A, it's a little late. Right? That's the latest one we will ever have done. <laughs> ever done. I feel like we're doing like a, might as well have a slumber party over at the house. I think we should I think we'll Kyle, set, up a, set up a fort. Bro. I, by the way, we're having a game night with Kyle and some of the crew and uh, we're going to do a pot at midnight. So I'm excited for that. So we'll yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be time. fun. All right. Dude, I had fun doing this. This was cool. <laughs> this was dope. This was like. I feel like we're back. Like this little was kids like, again, like this was like intimate. <laughs> this was lit. No, we're, yeah. Me and Arthur are thinking about doing this every, you know, every four, four or five episodes. Yeah, just kind of mix up, you know, bring bring back to the basics, bro. Back to basics. That's where I started. There's a lot of ways we could level this shit up. Yeah. So we're brainstorming people. Oh no, yeah, we're we're, we're, we're we're taking this to another level. Hey, thoughts of players, more than a podcast. Hey, more than a brand. Stay tuned, baby. Let's get it. All right, here we go. You ready? <laughs> yeah. You did you forget to do it? <laughs> I got, I got, I got. Yo, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real. Fun. Thoughts. Players. We out. Peace. Shit, I did forget though.